Methanogen, Wikipedia article audio. Methanogens are microorganisms that produce methane as a metabolic byproduct in anoxic conditions. They uniquely belong to the domain of archaea. They are common in wetlands, where they are responsible for marsh gas, and in the digestive tracts of animals such as ruminants and humans, where they are responsible for the methane content of belching in ruminants and flatulence in humans. In marine sediments the biological production of methane, also termed methanogenesis, is generally confined to where sulfates are depleted, below the top layers. Moreover, the methanogenic archaea populations play an indispensable role in anaerobic wastewater treatments. Others are extremophiles, found in environments such as hot springs and submarine hydrothermal vents as well as in the solid rock of the Earth's crust, kilometers below the surface. Physical Description Extreme Environments Comparative Genomics and Molecular Signatures Metabolism Methane Production Wastewater Treatment Strains Methanogens are coccoid or bacilli. There are over 50 described species of methanogens which do not form a monophyletic group, although all methanogens belong to archaea. They are mostly anaerobic organisms that cannot function under aerobic conditions, but recently a species has been identified that can function in aerobic conditions. They are very sensitive to the presence of oxygen even at trace level. Usually, they cannot sustain oxygen stress for a prolonged time. However, Methanocercina barkeri is exceptional in possessing a superoxide dismutase enzyme, and may survive longer than the others in the presence of O2. Some methanogens, called hydrogenotrophic, use carbon dioxide as a source of carbon, and hydrogen as a reducing agent. The reduction of carbon dioxide into methane in the presence of hydrogen can be expressed as follows. Some of the CO2 is reacted with the hydrogen to produce methane, which creates an electrochemical gradient across cell membrane, used to generate ADP through chemiosmosis. In contrast, plants and algae use water as their reducing agent. Methanogens lack peptidoglycan, a polymer that is found in the cell walls of the bacteria but not in those of archaea. Some methanogens have a cell wall that is composed of pseudopeptidoglycan. Other methanogens do not, but have at least one paracrystalline array made up of proteins that fit together like a jigsaw puzzle. Methanogens play the vital ecological role in anaerobic environments of removing excess hydrogen and fermentation products that have been produced by other forms of anaerobic respiration. Methanogens typically thrive in environments in which all electron acceptors other than CO2 and sulfate have been depleted. In deep basaltic rocks near the mid-ocean ridges, they can obtain their hydrogen from the serpentinization reaction of olivine as observed in the hydrothermal field of Lost City. The thermal breakdown of water and water radiolysis are other possible sources of hydrogen. Methanogens are key agents of remineralization of organic carbon in continental margin sediments and other aquatic sediments with high rates of sedimentation and high sediment organic matter. Under the correct conditions of pressure and temperature, biogenic methane can accumulate in massive deposits of methane clathrates, which account for a significant fraction of organic carbon in continental margin sediments and represent a key reservoir of a potent greenhouse gas. Methanogens have been found in several extreme environments on Earth buried under kilometers of ice in Greenland and living in hot dry desert soil. They are known to be the most common archaebacteria in deep subterranean habitats. 
live microbes making methane were found in a glacial ice core sample retrieved from about 3 kilometers under Greenland by researchers from the University of California, Berkeley. They also found a constant metabolism able to repair macromolecular damage, at temperatures of 145 to 40 degrees C. Another study has also discovered methanogens in a harsh environment on Earth. Researchers studied dozens of soil and vapor samples from five different desert environments in Utah, Idaho, and California in the United States, and in Canada and Chile. Of these, five soil samples and three vapor samples from the vicinity of the Mars Desert Research Station in Utah were found to have signs of viable methanogens. Some scientists have proposed that the presence of methane in the Martian atmosphere may be indicative of native methanogens on that planet. Closely related to the methanogens are the anaerobic methane oxidizers which utilize methane as a substrate in conjunction with the reduction of sulfate and nitrate. Most methanogens are autotrophic producers, but those that oxidize CH3 Ku are classed as chemotroph instead. Comparative genomic analysis has led to the identification of 31 signature proteins which are specific for the methanogens. Most of these proteins are related to methanogenesis and they could serve as potential molecular markers for the methanogens. Additionally, 10 proteins found in all methanogens which are shared by Archaeoglobus, suggest that these two groups are related. In phylogenetic trees, the methanogens are not monophyletic and they are generally split into three clades. Hence, the unique shared presence of large numbers of proteins by all methanogens could be due to lateral gene transfers. Methanogens are known to produce methane from substrates such as H2-CO2, acetate, formate, methanol and methylamines in a process called methanogenesis. Different methanogenic reactions are catalyzed by unique sets of enzymes and coenzymes. While reaction mechanism and energetics vary between one reaction and another, all of these reactions contribute to net positive energy production by creating ion concentration gradients that are used to drive ADP synthesis. The overall reaction for H2-CO2 methanogenesis is well-studied organisms that produce methane via H2-CO2 methanogenesis include Methanocercina barkeri, Methanobacterium thermoautotrophicum, and Methanobacterium wolfe. These organisms are typically found in anaerobic environments. In the earliest stage of H2-CO2 methanogenesis, CO2 binds to methyl furan and is reduced to formal MF. This endergonic reductive process is dependent on the availability of H2 and is catalyzed by the enzyme formal MF dehydrogenase. The formal constituent of formal HF is then transferred to the coenzyme tetrahydromethanopterin and is catalyzed by a soluble enzyme known as formal transferase. This results in the formation of formal H4-MPT. Formal H4-MPT is subsequently reduced to methanyl H4-MPT. Methanyl H4-MPT then undergoes a one-step hydrolysis followed by a two-step reduction to methyl H4-MPT. The two-step reversible reduction is assisted by coenzyme F420 whose hydride acceptor spontaneously oxidizes. Once oxidized, F420s electron supply is replenished by accepting electrons from H2. This step is catalyzed by methylene H4-MPT dehydrogenase. Next, the methyl group of methyl M4-MPT is transferred to coenzyme M via a methyl transferase catalyzed reaction. The final step of H2-CO2 methanogenic involves methyl coenzyme M reductase and two coenzymes, 
N7 mercaptoheptanoil 3 anine phosphate and coenzyme F430. HSHTP donates electrons to methyl coenzyme M allowing the formation of methane and mixed disulfide of HSCOM. F430, on the other hand, serves as a prosthetic group to the reductase. H2 donates electrons to the mixed disulfide of HSCOM and regenerates coenzyme M. Methanogens are widely used in anaerobic digesters to treat wastewater as well as aqueous organic pollutants. Industries have selected methanogens for their ability to perform biomethanation during wastewater decomposition thereby rendering the process sustainable and cost-effective. Biodecomposition in the anaerobic digester involves a four-staged cooperative action performed by different microorganisms. The first stage is the hydrolysis of insoluble polymerized organic matter by anaerobes such as Streptococcus and Enterobacterium. In the second stage, acidogens break down dissolved organic pollutants in wastewater to fatty acids. In the third stage, acetogens convert fatty acids to acetates. In the final stage, methanogens metabolize acetates to gaseous methane. The byproduct methane leaves the aqueous layer and serves as an energy source to power wastewater processing within the digester, thus generating a self-sustaining mechanism. Methanogens also effectively decrease the concentration of organic matter in wastewater runoff and minimizes greenhouse gas emissions. For instance, agricultural wastewater, highly rich in organic material, has been a major cause of aquatic ecosystem degradation. The chemical imbalances can lead to severe ramifications such as eutrophication. Through anaerobic digestion, the purification of wastewater can prevent unexpected blooms in water systems as well as trap methanogenesis within digesters. This allocates biomethane for energy production and prevents a potent greenhouse gas, methane, from being released into the atmosphere. The organic components of wastewater vary vastly. Chemical structures of the organic matter select for specific methanogens to perform anaerobic digestion. An example is the members of Methanoceta genus dominate the digestion of palm oil mill effluent and brewery waste. Modernizing wastewater treatment systems to incorporate higher diversity of microorganisms to decrease organic content in treatment is under active research in the field of microbiological and chemical engineering. Current new generations of staged multi-phase anaerobic reactors and upflow sludge bed reactor systems are designed to have innovative features to counter high loading wastewater input, extreme temperature conditions, and possible inhibitory compounds.